Hola Unconventionals, I'm Amelia. And I'm JP. And we're sharing our unconventional life with you from Ecuador. And today we're gonna get down and dirty. <laughs> I'll admit, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've never grown anything before. And I have, I had garden back in Colorado, but I bought seeds and now we're using scraps and saved yeah. seeds and I'm feeling honestly a little overwhelmed. I think maybe that's because we're going to film this process too. <laughs> yeah, I think she's nervous about being a, about failing. <laughs> well, and I feel like there's a little more pressure because we've been, you know, we're under a little more pressure these days, regardless yeah. because of the whole COVID thing. So yeah, we're uh, worried about the food scarcity. Well, we have like five pots over there, so we should still be worried about food scarcity. <laughs> it's a starting point though, Amelia. What <laughs> I said kidding. is I want, it's a proof of concept. It's our prototype. <laughs> if we can actually grow things in a few pots, then we can expand. Amelia has been pinning all kinds of things on Pinterest. I didn't even realize until recently, but she's been doing a great job on Pinterest. It's our second largest social channel <laughs> after our YouTube channel. <laughs> but that's actually on Lot of Edge, not on yeah. Amelia and JP. It's on our Lot of Edge Pinterest account. I'll put a link to that in the description it's on a lot of edge slash gardening on Pinterest and she has all has started collecting pens about how to grow things like in small spaces and mm -hmm. in pots and so we're gonna experiment with some of those ideas today all right I'm ready let's get busy we're gonna get dirty that was the whole down and dirty thing <laughs> yeah. getting down and digging in the dirt <laughs> yeah and my arm is going numb Amelia. Oh, okay <laughs> so we have this area that we filled with dirt but I don't really know what to plant here. <laughs> so a, somebody, please tell me. Yeah, it's Cut. about six inches deep and it only gets partial sun during the day. So I was seeking maybe lettuce. So we got a couple heads of lettuce and I'm gonna cut the bottoms off and start rooting them in water and then transplanting them. So I thought this might be a good spot for that, but I'm really open to suggestions. Yes, and then we have these pots. Yes, so I'm gonna put a couple, some peppers and then tomatoes in here i think to get them started um and then we also have three cloves of garlic that i'm going to try to grow yeah we haven't found any garlic recently yeah garlic and onions are pretty scarce right now and so, tomatoes yeah so we're going to try and grow things that are scarce yes and then i have in the refrigerator a zucchini but unfortunately the zucchini is small so i cut one open thinking oh i can use the seeds but the seeds are too small so i gotta i'm hoping we see some from the farmers that one of those big zucchinis so i can get the seeds for that and then we have this pot down here that's yet to be determined right yeah you don't know what you're gonna do with that well we do have some herb seeds and i thought we could just plant them up Apparently you're supposed to soak them first, so we'll soak them overnight and then we can plant those tomorrow, JP. Herbs? What kind of herbs? We have uh, parsley, cilantro, and basil. Oh, All things good. that we use regularly, so that'd be good. So we've already started growing something. I know, this is, look at, yay! This is really cool. So these are beet tops that I cut off yesterday and there was nothing green on them at all. And look at this in just one day, we have sprouts. Now these are not for eating, the beets aren't, the sprouts are. Yeah, the, the blah, blah. we'll have delicious <laughs> beet greens, which JP and I love, so I'm really excited to have that. And then I saw you could sprout an onion in water and then it'll grow onion greens. So and it I'm started try lifting that. up. So see that right there? Those were not lifted yesterday. Oh, well, you so, have a good eye. I didn't notice that. Yeah, those are already lifting up. So maybe something green will sprout out of there. Yeah, so we have a couple other onions that I'm going to cut. I saw you can cut them and kind of cube them and then plant them into the ground. So I thought that little square over there might work too, um, if not for the lettuce and maybe to start sprouting our onions. I don't know. And then I have a sprouted garlic. Two of these are sprouted. This one, I'll plant it and we'll see. It's not much to do. You just have to stick it in the dirt. But I think we could use a small pot for that, JP. We can take the rocks out of this one okay. and use this pot. I'm really impressed with these beets. I can't wait to have fresh beet greens. And bet, oh, you know what? I bet you we need to change the dirt in here. Well, yeah, those are rocks. Well, it's there's dirt. dirt in here, silly. <laughs> Those look there's like rocks dirt. to me. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> they we're in a bad shape if you don't know the difference between dirt, dirt and rocks, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna use some of this dirt over here. I think we're gonna starve to death. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> so this dirt we got um, mixed with some uh, fertilizer, which they call, what did, I didn't hummus. say hummus. Yeah, it's like compost. I looked it up. It translates to compost. So it's, he called it hummus, H-U-M-U-S. All right. 
Who moves? So this is probably going to be the easiest thing ever. Because then you don't peel them, you just basically stick them in the dirt. And then allegedly, over time, so you let the greens grow and then you keep clipping them back and once they stop growing, that means that you have a bulb underneath there. And then we just have to water it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Our first planting, besides the beets. <laughs> I know. I think maybe I've been overthinking this a little bit. Maybe so. That is my mo. Maybe so. Yes. I we should remember. mention that the beets are just in water. There's no dirt. Yeah, they're just in water. That's so cool. It I is cool. I didn't know you could do that. All right, let me um, go get some water for this, and then JP, I'm gonna let you slice the tomatoes because you're much better at, than I am. Yeah. I read that you need to slice a ripe tomato in quarter inch slices. Um, they don't have to be exactly quarter inch slices, and then you just lay them in the uh, your dirt, and then, and then you put. Them like an inch of soil over top. Okay, all right. So let's do so that my next. Turn to, to it's work? your turn, yes. Okay. So I forgot I was supposed to cover the garlic cloves with an inch of dirt. So I'm gonna shove these guys. You're gonna push them down deeper? Yeah. All Since right. these guys are sprouting, I don't think I need to worry about it too much. Yeah, I think it's good. And I don't think you need, you're not supposed to really pack them in there either, but. So how long is it gonna take to have garlic? Um, I don't know, I don't remember what they said. All right, well let's mark the date. It's Easter garlic. Okay. So. We remember when we planted these. Yes, but I do know we need water. Because this dirt, all the dirt's pretty dry. Yeah, it's very dry dirt. I get to cut the tomato. She told me to cut it into like quarter inch slices, so. I don't think you need to use the top, especially since that top is looking kind of nasty. So what, just cut I the top cut off? I cut the top off. Although, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Well, there's not gonna be any seeds in it anyway. Oh yeah, good point. No seeds in the top. So. Yeah, so we can just throw that part away. All right, so you said compost. quarter inch. That's about that big? Quarter inch? That is a lot bigger than a quarter inch. Oh, you're being a smart ass. Okay. It's like, <laughs> do I need to be worried about you? Weren't you? Don't you know how to do like carpentry and stuff, Jamie? <laughs> is this a quarter inch, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Like that? Should I go get my tape measure? You could if you want to. If you're worried that they're too thin. Well, there's seeds in there. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I just like turned, I just moved the camera aside so I could look around it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, unconventionals. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I want to eat this tomato. Nope. We want a really good tomato to grow. Oh, it smells so good. Well, if there's no seeds in that part, we can eat it. Although, I don't know. It's pretty All ripe, right. JP. Well, there's seeds in it, see? Okay. But man, it smells. Oh, it smells like tomatoes from when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. So now what do we do? Now we need to probably uncover some of that dirt and then... <laughs> <laughs> I think we need My to videographer. Just put them in the pot. My videographer. She's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's plant them. Okay. All right, are you ready to plant, JP? I guess I am. What do I do? Just put them in here? Yeah, so you just put them... Like that? Yep. It seems sacrilegious to put this awesome looking tomato in here. You picked this tomato to plant. I know because it's about? an awesome tomato. All right, so I'll put the other one in here. Yes. Like that? Yep. And, and then you just need to cover, I cover it up with, with dirt. an inch of dirt, it said. Sorry, I just cut your head off. I'm not doing very well because I'm distracted. There's a lot to look at. <laughs> Do we need to mark these? Or are we going to remember which ones have tomatoes in them? Oh, we probably should mark them. This dirt isn't the best dirt, but it's what we have. I know. I think it'll be okay. Well, other stuff grows here. I guess we'll find out. It's not rich black Kansas topsoil. Of course, no. that doesn't exist anymore either, thanks to monocrops. So, and the dirt needs lots of water. Yeah, we need to really give it some good water here. Right, well, I'm so excited. So this is how we're going to sprout our tomatoes, and then after that we'll have to transfer the plants. Yeah, and each one will have its own pot, probably, right? Yes. Or else we'll, maybe at that point, we'll have a bed made. All right. <laughs> Amelia just got distracted. If you couldn't tell, the <laughs> camera is not pointed at anything. <laughs> All right, let's get some water and water these. Yes. All right, Amelia, don't spray the camera. No, I don't. This seems like a lot of water. Well, yeah, you need to turn down the volume. I think so. Good job. I'm sure there's going to be people laughing their butts off at us, but that's all right. 
The accidental gardeners. All right, where's my tomatoes? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Start growing, please. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm going to try planting this bell pepper. Planting it? Yes. Aren't you going to cut it first? Yes, you have to cut it in half. Wow, that's a lot of seeds. So you have seed two different ones? I Yeah, I'm going to try it that way and see. So you just knock off the seeds in there? Yep. I know you disrupted the ant's house. The yeah. ant house. Sorry, buddy. He's stuck in, a, in the ant race going around in circles. It may be easier for you to do this, Jakey, because your arms are longer than mine. So I'm using a ripe bell pepper and I knocked off the seeds. And so I saw this on Pinterest. So I'm just going to kind of nestle them in there and put dirt. She put dirt in there. She filled the pepper inside with dirt. All right, move your hand a little bit oh, so sorry. I can see what you're doing. I know it's hard when you're a lefty. <laughs> and then we just need to cover it with dirt. All right, well, we've got plenty of dirt in these other pots that yes, we moved. Yes, we do. Yeah, this dirt has lots of stuff in it. I know, it's really hard to put this good food in the dirt. <laughs> I feel like we should be eating it. <laughs> well, this is a good experiment. Yeah, I guess we have to sacrifice a few to grow some, the mini. That's right. So you're watering our peppers now? Yes. I guess we could use these for the um, herbs. Okay. Yeah. Once we get them uh, soaked. Soaked, yeah. Yeah, so because we could do... uh, they said they like full sun. Mm -hmm. We made the mistake of drying our squash seeds on a paper towel, and now the paper towel is stuck to them. <laughs> so FYI, don't try to dry your squash seeds on paper towel. So we're going to plant these in this big pot, Amelia? Yeah. i got to look and see how many, how far apart they need to plant, but maybe we should just use the rest. It would be nice because if we get some of these started, we could share these. Are you ready to plant these? Yes. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Luckily, so, we have lots of seeds. All right. So I think work. we can put one in the middle. Okay. And you just put one in the hole at a time? I think so, yeah. All right, well, let's do one there. I've never actually tried doing a squash like this. Honestly, I don't remember how I grew those zucchinis. So it says, JP, that we should see sprouts in 10 days. 10 days. So if we don't see anything in 10 days, that means our seeds are no good. Bummer. Well, we could try other seeds. Right. Or maybe our gardening skills are no good. So we have to wait 10 days before we know if we failed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> What happened to my immediate gratification? <laughs> I think that's called going to the grocery store. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to water these too. You think these need more water? Yeah. This it, dirt is really, it really was so dry. dry. And that's our so squash. I read that squash needs to stay in moist soil, but you definitely do not want them to be overwatered. But again, this soil is really dry, so. It is super dry. I think you can put more water in there. That's a big pot. All good? right, I think we're good. It's been nine days since we first planted and we've had some success and some failures. <laughs> so these are tomato plants. I think this is a tomato plant and that is, and these are. And some of those. Some of these, you can see there's some other little random things growing in here that I'm thinking are like weeds or something. I don't know, but we're afraid to pull them because we don't want to mess anything up. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to take any chances. This is our pepper pot, and I'm pretty sure that is not a green pepper. Yep, we think that's a weed too. However, I do know that peppers take longer, so I'm hoping that um, they're still going to start sprouting, that we're going to see some seedlings here shortly. <laughs> this was a failure. Yeah, well, that was an onion. We've tried it. We've planted another onion in there now. Yes, so it's like right in there somewhere. We'll see what happens. Yeah, the but other one died. Look at our garlic. Yeah, it's our, growing nicely. Garlic is growing. And this one... I thought was not going to grow at all, and it is growing, and yeah, I'm really happy. JP's super excited about the beet greens, so we're going to go check those out. Our first round of beets did not make it. After I showed them to you, they the next day or two, they withered and died. I think they were too small, so we went and bought bigger ones, and we've already harvested some. So <laughs> these, we cut some off last night, and you can see the little ones are already growing in there. So we've got more little ones here, too. So these we just clip off a little bit and put them in our salad. So I want to get a bunch more of these so we have like a whole beet green garden because I love beet greens and those are like a superfood too. Well, we also love beets. So we aren't just like 
getting beets just to have beet greens. We're oh, yeah. eating all of it. Yeah, we eat the beets too. <laughs> yes. Our biggest success so far are our butternut squash seedlings. Look at these things. I was shocked. I thought they were going to take like 10 days before they would even start growing. And they started growing first. We started seeing little shoots in two days. And all of them, we planted five seeds and they've all grown. Yep. We're all very five. excited. All five germinated. Yeah. So we're going to have a little butternut squash patch, not a pumpkin patch. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to give some of these away too. Yeah. We're going to keep sprouting them and try and give them to the comuna. Yes. We're very excited. Just goes to show you how awesome it is when you have good organic seeds. Yeah. These are amazing. Look how beautiful these are. I know. Here. I hope they continue smile to grow. For, <laughs> both of you smile. <laughs> and then uh, it looks like you have a tail. Daisy's behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's been 16 days and look at our garlic. Yeah. All three of the cloves are growing. It's very exciting. <laughs> tomato plants are looking great. Yeah, look at our tomatoes. So the second onion we planted now is growing. So that's awesome. And I think, I think these little guys right here are pepper seedlings. I'm pretty sure this is a weed and this is a weed, but I think that's a bell pepper seedling. Yeah. Two so bell us, pepper seedlings. Let us know if you think those are peppers or weeds. Yes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So the lettuce was a fail. Yeah. <laughs> but the cat sure likes our, yeah. our uh, litter box. Yeah. <laughs> We've been covering this up at night since that darn cat peed in it. Oh, God, the Diablo. So we're still looking for ideas of what to plant in here because I am out of ideas. This is our biggest success. <laughs> Look at this squash. All five seeds germinated and they're beautiful. And tomorrow Juan Carlos is coming over. He's supposed to build us our raised bed. I'm going in. <laughs> Look at these babies. I hope we can transplant them properly. Oh, I'm sure it'll work. Juan Carlos is an excellent gardener. He knows what he's doing too, so he can help us. And he's very excited. I already told him he could have two of these. Yep. Feel free to give us any gardening tips and any ideas for our shaded uh, gardening area. Yeah, the litter box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with our accidental gardening project as things grow. And if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up, please. And we'll see you all in our next one. Ciao. Ciao.